Hey friends, today is a really good day for Ableton users. We just saw the release of Ableton 11 and the release of my most requested feature of literally all time. I've been requesting this feature since I think Ableton 7 or 8 and it's comping. What is comping? Comping is to be able to play a looped section of the song and take an instrument uh, with a maybe difficult riff to hit and every time the loop comes around it takes a new take. Now Ableton's already actually been doing this the whole time, but it hasn't given you an ability to edit it yet. So let's take a look at an area where I've already done this, okay? So check it out. Here's the big reveal. Drum roll. Show take lanes. Do you see that? So let's take a look at this. Boom. So what I did here is this is a bass line, okay? And these are different takes that I took. And all I did was I looped this area and I chose my favorite licks or parts of each one of these and assembled a track out of them, okay? This is what the act of comping is called, okay? So these are all different takes and each one of these takes, you can highlight a section, hit enter, and boom. Now you see that it replaces it up here. I can go over here, select this area, hit enter, boom. You can also hit B, of course, and use your little draw tool and just draw click and drag and draw an area to put into there, right? So instead of just doing it this way, let's go ahead and just work on a new track and I'll show you the whole process, okay? I'm so excited about this. This is just an unbelievable. So here we go, I've got my guitar. And I'm just gonna record a little lead part into here. All right, so. So there you have it, I just recorded four different takes, okay? Four different takes in a row of this relatively, for, at least for me, difficult guitar parts play. And um, now I can choose my favorite areas of each one of these takes to assemble a perfect take. Well, maybe not a perfect take, but a decent take, right? So let's take a look at how to do that. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, and we can see that it left the fourth take running. So let's listen to that. So obviously there's some things that I would want to change about that. So let's maybe take this first area. And I think maybe the easiest way to do this is just to hit B, take your draw tool and just click and drag, right? And at this point it's locked to the grid. And as I clicked and dragged there, you can see that that first track has now changed to what says audio instead of audio four, right? Because audio, audio two, audio three and audio four are my four different takes, right? So let's take a listen to how this worked. <laughs> And as you can see, we skipped from audio one to audio four right there. So that sounds a little better. So maybe we'll go to this one, because I think this was a little bit smoother here for this part. Let's see if number three was a little bit better. Actually, I think <laughs> number two is the smoothest. And obviously I need kind of this note to let, lend off, so maybe we'll go like that. Let's see. Boom. So as you can see, what I did is I just picked the best area of each one of these takes, and boom, I've made myself a lead that is acceptable as far as acceptable goes, <laughs> right? Now, um, the cool thing about this is that still, let's go ahead and take a listen to this soloed. All right, so. And 
as you can hear, there's still a little bit of uh, garbles between each one of these. Now, I can still go in real close here, right? And I can still fade, right? So it, even though we're doing this new comping mode, I can still grab, let's say I wanna grab this guy, just back it up a little bit. I can still get this more smooth. See how that is a lot more smooth now? I can still smooth out some of these um, areas. And I could probably do it back over here. Right there, see I can just smooth that out just by pulling it this way. There we go. Let's see how that sounds. So even though we're grabbing these different sections, we can still crossfade in and out of them. Awesome, so there's a lot of stuff to unpack with Ableton 11. If you like this kind of stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Um, for me, comping, the reason I've wanted this so long is because my band has been recording with Ableton Live since about 2006. And in that way, <laughs> Comping has been something I've always wanted because, you know, it, you end up taking 400 million takes and it would have been a lot more easy all these years to have just let it loop, right, and keep going and just pick our favorite sections of each take instead of just taking 500 million takes. I remember back in the day, I mean, we'd, we just weren't really good back then. We'd take, you know, 60, 70 takes to get something right. And now, I don't know, uh, we could have just taken four takes and taken our best little section of each one and called it a day, you know, but anyway... Uh, at least it's here. Better late than never. And so now that's Ableton 11 with comping. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll be making a lot more Ableton 11 content, so stay tuned. Uh, much love, everybody. Have a good day.